is the final A. We have the final B raced early during the morning session. Poland won the B final, so Poland will have the points of position number five, Jap Japan sixth, Hungary seventh. And we're now fighting for gold, silver, and bronze in this distance. The Canadian won gold in this event at World Cup number one at home at the Maurice Richard Arena in Montreal. The Dutch won gold last weekend in Beijing where Team Korea won silver. Still early in the race. René Stinge on track for the Canadian 9.2 seconds. Still 22 laps remaining. The Canadians well in control. The Chinese seem satisfied to be skating right behind them. The Koreans in third. The Dutch in fourth. Selma Pautzma, Chantra Velzebourg tied for first. Shared a gold medal earlier this afternoon in the 500 meter. Kim Gilly, one of the top skaters so far this season, will try to bring his team, her team, home at the top of the podium with a first place in that final. I'm sure the crowd will get quite loud and wild later in that race at the Mokdong Ice Rink. This is the final race for the women. They'll have a short break during the holidays. Well-deserved break after the first four World Cups of the season. The Chinese now making their way to the top. Laurence Brunel skating for Team Canada. Selma Paltzma on track for the Dutch. And I believe it is Shim Sukhier. The track stewards will have to be on the lookout, not to be in the way and interfering with the skaters. That came close a lap ago. Not an easy task for the track stewards in these relay events. Typically, short trackers themselves the Chinese try to pick up the pace 12 laps remaining the Dutch have moved to second the Koreans in third the Canadians struggling a bit for now in fourth but they are still in the hunt three medals at stake in this final A of the relay 3000 meter well in controls are the Chinese very clean exchanges by all four teams Obviously, the inside skaters need to make sure that they don't interfere with those on the track. It's the job of the on-ice referees and the video assistant referees to make sure that everything is done according to the rules of short track speed skating. The Dutch now moving on the inside. Well, clean pass made ahead of the Chinese. The Koreans, Kim Gilly, will make sure to bring her team in contention. And a gap is created on the Canadians. Will it be a three-way battle for the win? Can the Canadians come back on the Dutch, the Chinese, and the South Korean? We have five laps remaining in this final A. Jana van Kerkhoff holding on to the lead for her team. The Chinese right behind her. Look out for the Canadians. They're now back in the hunt. What a relay by... I believe Rennie Steen's giving the relay to her teammates here. The Canadians now in third place. Ahead of the Korean Shin Suk Hee on track for the Republic of the Korea. We heard the gunshot giving us the three lap mark. Here's the last final exchange, final relay push. The Dutch holding on to the Chinese. All four teams still in contention for the three medals. One of the replay under review. Final lap in Seoul. The Dutch, the Chinese, the Canadian look out for Kim Gilly on the outside, passing the Canadian and the Chinese. What a finishing kick by. The Koreans winding up in second place. We cleared the box now in green. That means no penalty in that A final. What a clean racing by all four teams. And a perfect day for the Dutch with Selma Pautzma and Chandra Velzebul likely adding a second gold medal in less than an hour. Obviously, the coaches quite happy. Kim Gilly and the Korean team made their best effort in front of the home crowd at the Mokdong Ice Rink in Seoul. What a way to end this fourth World Cup of the season for the Dutch. They were patient in the first half of the race after quite a start by Selma Pautzma. 
The Canadian skated from the front as well, went at the back and might have been able to close that bridge late in the race. We see some of the highlights here. While we wait for the final results, we'll have the medal ceremony also coming up. All four teams fought, fought well till the end. Here's Chandra Velsbourg, the world record holder in the 500 meter, reigning world champion in that distance. And what a finish might have been too little too late for the Canadians. And what an outside pass by Korean Kim Gilly. And that final 50 meter is simply too strong for the Chinese and the Canadian, I believe, Dana Eble finished the last two laps for the Canadians. Went for a kick at the end, but that might not have been enough for a place on the podium for Team Canada.